फिर आया है तिरंगा खुलकर मुस्कुराया है तोड़कर परिधीनता की बेड़ियों को देखो ध्वज कैसे मुस्कुराया है नमस्कार आप सभी को गणतंत्र दिवस की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं भारत इस वर्ष अपना तिहत्तरवा गणतंत्र दिवस मना रहा है 26 जनवरी गणतंत्र दिवस हर वर्ष हम इस दिवस को राष्ट्रीय पर्व के रूप में अपने देश के संविधान और अपने देश के वीर जवानों और देश के लिए उत्तम कार्य करने वाले सभी व्यक्तियों को सम्मानित करने के लिए और अपने देश के प्रति अपनी भूमिका को और अच्छे से याद रखने के लिए मनाते हैं और आज इस मंच के जरिए हम भारत के लिए सम्मानजनक कार्य करने वाले सभी लोगों का सादर धन्यवाद करते हैं इसी के साथ आज इस देश की वह पीढ़ी जो इस देश को आगे चलकर नई ऊंचाइयों पर ले जाएगी उनके लिए एक अनोखी क्विज प्रतियोगिता का आयोजन किया गया है जिसमें हमारे साथ आज के मुख्य अतिथि के तौर पर जुड़े हैं देश के सुप्रसिद्ध आई अधिकारी श्री जितिन यादव सर अब मैं सर को आमंत्रित करना चाहूंगा कि वे आकर यह वीडियो देख रहे हमारे जैसे हजारों विद्यार्थियों का मार्गदर्शन करें श्री जितिन यादव सर थैंक यू हार्दिक फॉर गिविंग मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड आई एम वेरी ग्लैड दैट वी आर डूइंग दिस ऑन अ संडे इट शोज द मोटिवेशन लेवल ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अस इंक्लूडिंग मी सो initially uh, i was not sure whether i was able to you know attend this session or not but fortunately things worked out and we are here today uh, so if i'm uh, can you tell me a brief about this uh, initiative in uh, just uh, you know few seconds so that uh, i get more information on it yeah i invite priyanshi to elaborate more about the quiz to this so okay so i'll just give a quick brief about what actually cuisine is so cuisine is basically a small initiative from adventure where uh, we give rewards where we reward all the mi- masterminds in our uh, place so we first of all did our first round where there were 25 questions and 30 seconds were given to all the participants to answer and from that uh, round we have chosen top 3 contestants who have given maximum number of correct answers in least number of time and there was one subjective question as well and the one uh, who three of them written the best answers out of all of them so now we have this three participants with us with whom we are going to play our final round thank you so much priyanshi for uh, describing the initiative and uh, you know i did my quizzing in school but i i was never able to do it properly in college because of a lot of things i was involved in other activities but quizzing is something which always intrigued me uh, and i'll tell you the reason why because you know whatever we do especially in college life it is one place where we get to explore explore the art side of personality uh, you know how we look uh, things in life uh, basically college is a transition from a ideal life which we see in school or the way we perceive to a real life after college you know we suddenly from after college will jump to the real world uh, we will will be facing the real challenges of life something which we never imagined till school standard uh, this is something which college you know helps us out in and at the same time uh, when we are in college we groom ourselves by exploring uh, our side of the you know personality which were never explored before so you know let's say some start taking participation in quizzing some do other activities like debating club is there like you know we had a session with kartavya society also there are you know aspirants who are want to prepare for upsc so this opportunity and the way of exploring things it it, it you know there is a latent potential hidden in all of us which we are not aware of so you know, something let's say i'll give you one example what is latent potential so let's say if i am good in mathematics and able to score uh, 90 marks in mathematics but i'm scoring only 60 that means that 90 minus 60 is my latent potential so if i work hard on it uh, and improve on my abilities so there could be a possibility that i'll be scoring 90 because i have that potential this is something which we realized in college uh, you know this is all together a different world a balance of extracurricular activities and studies um you know uh, it 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 shows what we are you know capable of as an individual even you know 
during the times of challenge let's say we are organizing this session during a pandemic uh, it shows our dedication level that you know there are there will be many students there will be many uh, you know societies most of the colleges i've seen all the societies and the work have stopped but there are uh, students like you who are still continuing it this is also one side of the personality that you know despite the challenges we have to accustom ourselves and to the changes that have come across so this these are the traits which we inculcate uh, you know through these sort of activities so let's say when i talk about quizzing quizzing is you know people who are students who are interested in quizzing are curious uh, you know uh, they they do they won't accept anything easily they will reason out things uh, and you know they they have a, this sort of a problem solving mind it's like anything you give them it will be like a puzzle and they will try to resolve it uh, these certain uh, you know traits and uh, uh, of the personality which we develop via quizzing uh, will help us in the long run you know uh, probably we are seeing just as a competition at this point of time now but later on uh, when you, it comes to real life challenges let's say someone of you you know become a civil servant later on and some real problem occurs on the ground or some uh, you know goes to field of entrepreneurship and they try to develop something uh, which can help uh, the citizens of the country what are what what do we come across in real life we come across problems just like anything it's like a question only and we have to solve it so this reasoning ability you know the logical uh, you know syllogism uh, that we uh, everything has to be reasoned out we can't accept things blindly these things which quizzing you know teaches us they help us in long run so we so i'll give you one example you know uh, what is uh, you know amazon flipkart it was basically a problem i'm i'm sitting in my you know room at my home i need something and what they did they provided a solution what is swiggy is a matter i'm sitting at my home i'm hungry due to work or anything or probably i'm sick i'm not able to go anywhere i can order any type of food so it was a problem it was a question and they thought if we can implement this as a solution then things can work out it it it's everywhere if you are working in government if you are doing in private sector entrepreneurship or on, on your own if you are doing starting something this is how startups come come up you know what are startups they try to solve a problem anything we come across in real life if you can think of a solution what is the solution the gap between the input and the output input could be the question and output the delivery mechanism so if we can do that uh, and if we develop those traits at this point of time which you all are doing then i think this is commendable so because whatever you do in in your life later on this this trait will help you out a lot this personality trait which you are developing at this point of time it might be related to a small competition of college uh, right now but later on it can solve you know real life issues and big problems this is how everything came up apple came up like this microsoft came up like this they imagine problems some problems which we see there are some problems which we foresee you know that is what we call foresight so some things which can occur in future and we imagine okay this is how things could be and uh, if we provide a solution to people at a mechanism which will make lives of people easier that's it that the solution people are looking for money is always the secondary aspect uh, it's not like we always focus on money first and then we make products or delivery mechanisms or anything we do money has to be the by product if a dedication is there if you put some things Uh, you know our motivation and reasoning behind something we can definitely come up with conclusion this is where you know this is how i always perceived quizzing uh, as such you know why qu quizzing intrigued me uh, i have many friends uh, you were who were national level quizzers they used to you know they they were rank holders you must be knowing that quizzers they hold rank across the country so uh, i have friends there they, they they used to visit to colleges universities and they conducted these sessions Uh, so i'm glad i'm part of this session uh, and uh, and you know uh, i'm glad that hardik uh, pursued me despite my initial resistance uh, because i was not sure because uh, you know couple of weeks before uh, we can't tell our schedule what it would be even on a sunday so fortunately you know i made it up and uh, i was able to interact with all of you uh, so uh, best wishes to all the participants uh, i know it's a multi uh, you know level Voice competition, but uh, you know, whoever just because you are participating, it's participating at these times. It's more than enough. It shows we are intrigued, we are curious, 
you know we want to explore more uh, to to you know uh, get the best out of us that's what we all want right it's not like just because we achieve something and we stop after that these are the traits which will continue later on also this curiosity intrigueness uh, you know what the way you perceive things as i said see everything as a puzzle and just try to solve it rather than just sitting on it and you know cribbing about it there will be people like that you will come across in life people will be like talking about negative things when a problem comes they won't try to solve it they will just sit down and you know crib over it cry over it but a person who has this squeezing mindset he he won't sit down idle you know that person will will just you know try to resolve it and move on in life that's how we you know we see squeezing uh, not just limited to at this stage which you are at probably i'm seeing these traits which are developing right now they will help you out a lot later on also so with this i want to end my short speech and i really want to thank the entire uh, team of adventure for uh, reaching out to me and uh, you know making me part of this and best wishes from my side on the behalf of adventure i would like to heartily thank ias jitin yadav sir for inspiring the generation z of our nation with his enlightening words thank you so much sir thank you अब इस प्रतियोगिता के बारे में और बताने और इसे आगे बढ़ाने के लिए मैं अपनी साथी राही जैन और प्रियांशी व्यास को बुलाना चाहूंगा so very enlightening words from jitin yadav sir now we are finally moving on to our final round of cuisine 1.0 hope you all are excited for this so from all the masterminds we had till round 1 we now have our final three with whom we are going to play our final round first of all i would like to offer thanks to our respected sir for his enlightening words so again i welcome you all to cuisine 1.0 and our three finalists are first laman choudhury from rajasthan second sonika rajuria from gujarat and third trisha thomas from maharashtra now i will be briefing out all the rules and regulation of our final round of cuisine 1.0 so in this quiz you all will have to answer individually one person will play at a time and each player will have to answer five questions and for answering each correct answer for answering each right answer you will get 100 points and there will be no negative marking for wrong answer and at last all your points will get converted into cash prize for example if you are having 200 points so at last your cash prize will be rupees 200 so in this way we will continue the game so now i would like to request priyanshi to further continue with our first round thank you believe you can and you are halfway there so guys leave your nervousness and let's dive into the sea of questions also remember you are going to learn here you are going to win and there's nothing to lose so don't worry and let's get started so our first participant is laman choudhury i hope laman you are here yes okay so are you ready yes i am So let's get started with Laman. Laman, here is your first question on the screen. Which country has the largest coastline? A. India. B. China. C. Canada. D. Indonesia. And your time starts now. C. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Should I lock C? Yes, you can. Okay, Raman. So you said C, Canada, and you are absolutely correct about the answer. Canada is the correct answer for question number one about the country that has the longest coastline. Moving on to our question number two. What did the Paramveer Chakra replace when India became a republic? A. Delhi Darbar Medal. 
B. Indian Order of Merit. C. Kesare Hind Medal. Or D. Victoria Cross. And your time starts now. Please log D. Are you sure about it? Yes. Okay, so let's go with D, Victoria Cross. And you're again absolutely right, Laman. Congratulations. The correct answer is Victoria Cross. Also, Paramvi Chakra is India's highest military decoration. And earlier, during British rule, it uh, on the place of Paramvi Chakra, we had Victoria Cross. Now, moving on to our next question. Question number three. Sir Faroshi ki tamanna ab hamare dil mein hai. Is the slogan given by option A, Bhagat Singh, option B, Chandrasekhar Azad, option C, Ram Prasad Bismil, or option D, Lala Lajpat Rai. And your time starts now. Please log C. Should we go with C? Yes. Okay. So let's log option C, Ram Prasad Bismil. And you are again correct, Laman, once again. Very well done. So Ram Prasad Bismil is the one who used the slogan for the very first time. Moving on to our question number four. Which country has the world's first female prime minister? And the options are A, India, B, Sri Lanka, D, C, Japan, or D, Germany. And your time starts now. Please log B. Would you like to go with B, Sri Lanka? Yes. Are you sure about it? Yes, I am. Okay, so let's go with B, Sri Lanka. And you are once again correct, Laman. Bravo. So here is a picture of the first female prime minister of the world from Sri Lanka. Now, moving on to our last question. Who is this famous billionaire? I hope you can see the picture. Yes. Okay, so here are your options. A, Jeff Bezos. B, Steve Ballmer. C, Mark Cuban. Four, uh, D, Sam Bolton. And your time starts now. Please log D. Should we go with D? Sam Walton. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's log D. Sam Walton. An amazing, really, really great work done, Laman. The answer is Sam Walton. And with this, you have answered all five questions correctly. Let's give a huge round of applause to Laman. Thank you so much, Laman. We'll provide you, you with your scores at the end one more time. Okay. Now I request Rahi to please continue. Uh, thank you, Priyanshi, and well done, uh, Laman. Now I would like to request Trisha Thomas um, to come. Are you ready, Trisha? Yes. Okay, so uh, Hardik, please share the PPT. Your first question is the largest producer of coffee in the world is first option is Australia, second is Brazil, 
third colombia and the last one is denmark so your time starts now please lock option b brazil sure are you sure with your answer yes okay so your answer is brazil please show the correct answer and you are absolutely correct the right answer is brazil only congratulations and well done next question republic day parade in new delhi starts from you have to answer from where it begin okay so first option is rashtrapati bhavan second india gate third red fort and the last one is vijay chowk your time starts now please lock option d vijay chowk okay so are you confirm with your answer yes okay sure please show the correct answer and bravo one again you are absolutely correct the answer is vijay chowk only congratulations now it's time for the third question and the question is who can dismiss the governor from office okay so your uh, options are state legislative assembly second parliament third president and the fourth one is council of minister your time starts now please lock option c president okay so are you final with your answer yes yes so again uh, you are correct the correct answer is president only uh moving towards the fourth question world's first country to find diamonds india first option second is congo third china and then last one is persia your time starts now please lock option a india okay so confirm with your answer yes again um, please show the correct answer and very very well played you are again correct it is india only the earliest diamond were found in india only and the famous one is kohinoor also everyone knows about it yeah so congratulations you answered all the question correctly and now it's turn for your last question and it will be picture based so this is basically the map of the continent europe and you have to answer that which country is indicated by that red mark okay then your options are first germany second switzerland third belarus and the last one is france and your time starts now please lock option b switzerland so you are final with your answer yes okay so switzerland and please show the correct answer and congratulations uh, it is the correct answer the correct answer is switzerland only thank you trisha thank you thank you trisha now i would like to invite priyanshi for further continuing our third round okay so for our last but not the least participant we have sonika so sonika are you ready yes definitely okay so let's move to your first question i request hardik to please share the screen okay sanika i guess you can see the question on the screen europe and asia Okay, let me read the question for you. Which mountain range separates Europe and Asia? Option number A, Alps. Option number B, Pamir Mountains. Option number C, Ural Mountain. Option number D, Hindu Kush. And your time starts now. 
I'll go with C, Ural Mountains. Are you sure? Yes. Should I lock it for you? Yes. Okay, so let's go with C. And you are absolutely correct. The answer is Ural Mountains. Moving on to question number two. Okay. Which is the concept of fundamental duties in the Indian constitution has been borrowed from option A, British constitution, option B, French constitution, option C, Canadian constitution, option D, Russian constitution. And your time starts now. I'll go with A, Brit British Constitution. Are you sure about it? Not really sure, but yeah, British Constitution. Okay, so let's go with option number A, British Constitution. Uh oh, I'm really sorry, but that wasn't the correct answer. The right answer was D, Russian, or if more uh, okay. precisely, I would say it was USSR Constitution. Never mind. Okay. Let's move on to our question number three. The book Jyoti Punj is written by option number A, Amit Shah, option number B, Nitin Gadkari, option number C, Rajnath Singh, or option number D, Narendra Modi. And your time starts now. So, different. Option B, Nitin Gadkari. Would you like to go with Nitin Gadkari? Yes. Okay, so let's go with option number B, Nitin Gadkari. I'm really sorry, but the correct answer was option number D, Narendra Modi. Anyways, let's move on to question number four. Let's hope for good now. Question number four. Former Prime Minister of which country have received Padma Vibhushan in 2021? Option number A, Japan. Option number B, Korea. Option number C, New Zealand. Or option number D, Thailand. And your time starts now. Option D, Thailand. Are you sure you would like to go with Thailand? Would yes. you like to give it a second guess? Option C, New Zealand. Let's go with New Zealand. Okay, so let's lock option number C, New Zealand. Oh, I'm really sorry, but the correct answer was A, Japan. And the person who's received it was Shinzo Abe. Now, no issues, but we still have our last question and we hope for something good. So here is our last but not the least question on your screen. Which movie is this image connected to? I hope you can see the image. It's lagging, I see. Oh, zero, zero, zero. Option okay, and B, the options. You you, please, please, please read it. Sorry. <laughs> no issues. So the options are option number A, Man in Black. Option number B, Vyomkesh Bakshi. Option number C, Sherlock Holmes. Or option number D, James Bond. It's option D, James Bond. Okay, so let's go with option number D, James Bond. 
That was great. So the correct answer is option number D, James Bond. So with this, we are done with your quiz, Sonica, as well. And your final score is 200 points, which converts to 200 rupees. Thank you so much, Sonica. I'm very glad after successful completion of this wonderful quiz. Now it's time for result. So our first contestant was Laman Chaudhary from Rajasthan and his score was 500 points. So his cash prize is equal to rupees 500. Our second contestant was Sonika Rajoria from Gujarat and her, point, her points are 200. So her cash prize is also rupees 200. And our last contestant was Trisha Thomas from Maharashtra. Her point, points were 500. So her cash prize was also equal to rupees 500. Now, I would like to invite Priyanshi to further conclude the event. First of all, I would like to thank everyone, especially the participants who became a part of this amazing event. And I would really like to thank IS Jitin Sir for becoming a part of this event with us and taking out his precious time for us. Now we had so much fun organizing this quiz and I hope you guys had fun too. Now I request uh, the participants to please share the view, share their views on how they found this quiz to be. I request Laman to please share his view first. I found it really interesting. I am a person who loves our country, who loves us as a country person also. And my first dream as a childhood was to be an army officer. So I have seen many questions related to that in this quiz. So I was really happy at that moment of point also. And uh, I found it really very interesting because earlier there has not been a quiz like this in which there are so many stages. Actually, they are generally first stage only in which they declare the winners and these all kinds of things. So in this way, I like the quiz very much. Thank you so much, Laman. Now I request Trisha to please share her views. I really found this quiz very interesting and fun to play. Be it the subjective part of it or the objective part. I really learned a lot. And also these questions were comparatively very general knowledge questions. And it was not as hard as compared to sometimes they do state the level and they do put hard questions, but this was not it. I generally, generally loved it. And also the incentive to play of the cash reward also made it more fun to play and more competitiveness was introduced. So thank you, Adventure, for this initiative. Really loved it. Thank you for being a part of it. So please, Sonika. It was very smoothly organized. And uh, I came to know about it through Instagram. And I checked it out on YouTube. And uh, I, I think it was very... Very smooth. I, I got the links on time. I got the forms on time. And the questions were interesting. It was a learning ex experience. Although in, in general knowledge, you cannot really be sure that you'll know everything. But I learned. I learned a lot. Felt good. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, I would also like to thank all the members who worked really hard for making this quiz a success. Hardik Chaturvedi, Saksham Pathak, Hardik Sharma, Mahima, and Rahi. So for now, we are done, but we'll come back again with something cool and informative for you all, only at Adventure.